Yo, what is up guys? Oscar here with a new video talking about my post-game reaction to the Washington football team versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is my beginning reaction. What an upset. What an upset. It was an ugly, dirty game. Defensively. Not, you know, well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. But it was an awesome, awesome game to see. Washington goes into Pittsburgh Huge underdogs. They come away with a six-point win. What a game for Washington to win. They stay alive in the NFC East race. Um, sorry about that. My phone fell off of the my thing. Um, but what a game for the Washington football team to win. Um, that is my you know initial reaction. Yes, there are you know some bad, some ugly. You know, along with the good and the feeling good, Washington wins their third straight. Yes, you heard me right, third straight. Alex Smith now 3-1 and one as a starter. Washington, man, oh, man. Whew. Got me nervous. Got me nervous Um, in that game. So let's recap it. Um... Washington was down 14 to 0 and I honestly was this close to turning the the game off but then somehow some way Washington you know finds some type of life I don't know what it was that they channeled at the end of the half you know a clock decision or something or a ball I don't know what it was like some you know something fell in Washington's favor at the end of the first half got them the field goal 14 to 3 at the half. Next thing you know, you know, Washington, you know, has a lengthy I think it was like a 6 or 7 minute drive to start the second half. They get it 14 to 10. Pittsburgh's only able to kick a field goal at the end of the third quarter. No, at the beginning of the fourth, and then Washington just took it from there. Montez Sweat. Montez Sweat. My goodness, what a first in my opinion. What a first-round pick decision last year for, for Washington, you know. All the hype last year in 2019 was about Dwayne Haskins this, Dwayne Haskins that. And, you know, Monza Sweat was lost in the shuffle. And this year he is showing why he deserves not to be lost in that shuffle. Disrupted everything. Um, Chase, you know, you know, man, the front seven. And I called my predictions video the front seven battle. And that's what it was. It was the front seven battle because... Alex Smith, you know, got sacked a couple of times, got hit, kept on getting hit. Um, uh, let me see. Um, ben Roethlisberger kept on getting disrupted, kept on getting hit. Man, oh, man. That was a down and dirty game for the, you know, awesome, awesome to see. You know, it was 0-0 at the end of the first quarter. And then, of course, the 14 to nothing. And, you know, um... Again, like I said, after I saw Washington go down 14-0, to I gave Washington no chance to, to win this game. But what a game where, you know, now we, you know, man, I'm, I'm still hyped. I'm very excited. But, you know, got to put this game, you know, behind, move on to San Fran um, next Sunday. So let's get into the good, the bad, the ugly. The good was Alex Smith and winning the turnover battle. Alex Smith... Winning the turnover battle, J.D. McKissick, Logan Thomas um, stepped up huge um, today, you know, because Terry McLaurin was just too shut down. He had only, like, what, two two catches for 14 yards. Cam Sims stepped up. Man, when Antonio Gibson went down, you know, it looked like Washington offense was doomed, was doomed doomed from the start, but now it is, you know, but then like, uh, you know, Peyton Bar, everyone contributed, that was incredible, you know, they were able to wake up, you know, and play their hearts out, that is something I, you know, wanted to see, I was upset that I saw Antonio Gibson go down with, with injury, but, you know, a little bit more on him later, that is the good, the offense was still able to click, it wasn't the big 40 points that, you know, that was expected to be put on. But, you know, what can you expect when when you're facing, you know, Pittsburgh? You're not going to get 40, 30 points. You're going to get 20, 
seven, you know, 23, 20 points. That is incredible. You know, the offense came to play. The defense played. Monta Sweat, Chase Young, man, Chase Young, first round pick, second overall. You know, he um, stopped a big fourth down for for uh, for for Washington to give Washington the ball back. Unfortunately, Washington couldn't Washington couldn't do anything with the ball after that. But you know, he stopped um, Pittsburgh from scoring on that fourth and goal. Disrupted everything. Um, so let's get into some bad. Bad was losing Antonio Gibson um, early in the game. You know he went down with um, turf toe with a toe injury. Hopefully he's okay, but he did not come back. Um, you know, he got hurt within the first few minutes of the game, so I hope he's okay, um, he is the star for, star running back for Washington, but it looks like, um, it's going on for Peyton Barber, to Peyton Barber and J.D. McKissick from here on out, but, man, it, it just stung seeing Antonio Gibson go down with injury, because, you know, like I said in the first half, Washington really couldn't get anything going, could not find a rhythm at all. And, um, you know, in Washington, you know, his identity is run the football, and they just couldn't. They couldn't without Antonio Gibson in there. So, you know, that is some bad. Um, so let's, uh, some ugly penalties. Oh, penalties almost cost Washington the game. You know, they, they you know, allowed drives to continue. They pushed the offense back. And, you know, that long scoring drive that Washington was on, Yes, they got a touchdown, but two penalties at the beginning of that drive. It was a holding penalty and a delay of game that, you know, put Washington back, you know, at the 10-yard line, I think it was. And, you know, Washington, if they're trying to win this division, they cannot. They cannot have penalties like that. You know, again, they were able to get away with it. But penalties are going to kill Washington in the long run. Just too many penalties. They, you know sustained drives for Pittsburgh and they also you know killed Washington's offense as well so that's some ugly third down conversions were another thing I think they were like what three of 15 or you know they they were just terrible on third downs um Washington's offense was you know they were just terrible um but it, they converted Setup when, mode is off. They, just a moment while this device reconnects. they converted is ready so, Sorry about that. My echoes off. But, you know, just terrible conversions on third down. Like I said, we were able to get away with it. Hence the reason why we got the W. But, you know, when we're facing Seattle, San Fran, you know, going down the stretch, we're going to need to convert third downs. Um, so that is the ugly there as well. All around solid performance. Uh, in my opinion, give a game ball to Monta Sweat. He deserved it. John Bostic with a ceiling interception um Washington won the turnover battle again once I said one to zero you know it's it wasn't you know the Dallas performance where they had the fumble and interception but again Washington just needs to win the turnover battle and that's how they're going to win games they're able to win the turnover battle one to zero a game ceiling interception to give D Hopkins or Dustin Hopkins trash Hopkins I don't know what you guys want to call him I still call him trash Hopkins because um you know it is what it is but you know he was able he was three for three on field goals today, made extra points, um, so, yeah, um, that is, you know, my initial reaction, but Monta Sweat gets a game ball, Chase Young gets a game ball, Washington didn't get any sacks, even though Pittsburgh did, um, I think TJ Watt had two sacks, um, almost recovered a fumble, but, you know, Logan Thomas was able to, um, recover that, but um, also some ugly, you know, at the beginning of the game, you know, the reason why we fell behind, in my opinion, Jeremy Sprinkle, I don't know what, what is the, the loyalty, you know, we talk about the loyalty to the Dustin Hopkins, but what is the loyalty with freaking Jeremy Sprinkle, man? Um, Jeremy Sprinkle, um, there was a fumble um, on, the, on a muffed punt by Pittsburgh, and Jeremy Sprinkle just misses it. He dives and he misses the fumble completely. Like, he doesn't even know where the... You know, he misses the ball. Like, the ball was right there and right in front of his face. And he missed it. And Pittsburgh, you know... Next thing you know, Pittsburgh scored... I think that was the drive where they threw that 50-yard bomb to... Um, I forgot who it was. Um, 
uh, Jan Washington, James Washington, I think the guy was named, uh, the name is. So, you know, what is the loyalty there? Like I said, the ugly was not being able to convert third downs, the penalties. But other than that, Washington was able to recoup, recover, come make the second half adjustments, and were able to shut down Pittsburgh's offense. Um, shut down Chase Claypool. Juju Smith-Schuster, i got to give my hats off to him, had a, a decent fourth quarter, made some key plays on third down and stuff like that, but not enough, in my opinion, to win this game. So, um, John Bostick had that ceiling interception, give a game ball to him. Like I said, the offense, you know, was able to click after the second half. You know, Antonio Gibson went down with an injury, but hopefully he's okay. We'll we'll find out more information as, you know, the week goes on. But, um, yeah. Uh, all right, guys. That is it for me. What do you guys think? Washington wins. Victory Tuesday now. It's a victory Tuesday. Um, Washington now, funny enough, it wasn't a primetime game, but they are 2-0 and now. When they are, you know, when they didn't play on Sunday. So, three-game win streak, Washington 5-7, and seven, tied with the Giants. I'll take that any day. Alrighty, guys, um, that is it for me. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.